My friend John Stefani and myself followed this car about eight years ago. We were told of a car in Bell River and we went looking for it. For weekends, we had wrong addresses, but eventually what happened is we were pulling in a driveway to turn around. And actually, this front end was in the carport right there and I saw it and I said, that's a streetcar, John. It turned out to be the house, you know, from so. We kept it quiet for a number of years because we didn't want people bothering the, the uh, owners of the property. And so when the last time this car was in this building it would have been about 1938, 39, because that's when they were sold off. I've actually here you have an, a Cincinnati car. It was built in Cincinnati, Ohio, and this particular one was built in 1918 in, for the public service of New Jersey. In 1926, uh, the Hydroelectric Power Commission, who was operating the railway here, they went and purchased 10 of these cars and then went back a few months later and purchased another 10, so there was a total of 20 of these cars. What's unique about this car, this is the very first one of the group, 351, and it is one of four that actually I know ran on the Windsor to Decumsey line because it had a smoking compartment. And if you go inside, you can see a bit of the remnants of the smoking compartment and that, and at the time. So I knew that was a Decumsey car. Yeah, street car. I always use cars because when I'm talking to a lot of the people I talk to, I already understand what I'm, I'm talking about, but it's a street car. And at that time, like I said, this ran between Windsor out of this yard all the way. And it actually would have started at Sandwich and um, Ferry Street. Actually, where the uh, St. Clair College, I think, that was actually the original waiting room for the streetcars right there. And then they ran down Sandwich Street all the way out to Stabane, up Stabane to wind up, but at that time it was called Ottawa Street, all the way out to Lausanne Road. Then it went on its own private right of way all the way to Decumson. Put it this way, you actually, uh, over 100 years ago, we had regional transit. You could take a, a streetcar or in a bourbon car, they would call them from Windsor to Tecumseh, Windsor to Amherstburg, Windsor to Essex, Cottom, Kingsville, and Leeming. So you sort of had a regional transit at that time that you could move around the city. And I found a lot of the people that worked for the railway lived in the, you know, in the area of it because they didn't have cars. If you look at the houses, even Walkerville, the houses were so close together, there was no driveways. People took public transit. That's how they got around.